Hello beautiful people, time for a spot of midweek wheelie practice. When I say wheelie practice, what I mean is try to do a wheelie to start with because I am so shit at this. But that's what practice is for, being less shit at shit. So here we go. Putting on my knee guards because I will undoubtedly be needing them. I love these knee guards so much. Can I just say they are the bomb. Alright, these are, what are they? Mobius, Mobius X8 in size small, and they are honestly, they are the bomb when it comes to Enduro knee guards. So they're nice and soft inside, really nicely padded. You've got the knee brace, so um, you know, twisting your knee, so you've got that knee twisting protection, and then you've obviously got some really solid armor. So when you go knee first into the rocks, which is something I do a lot of, Head first, knee first, you name it, I go down. Well, you've got nothing to worry about. So, I am happy to say that I have never, touch wood, never ever broken a bone crashing a motorcycle, or indeed broken a bone in my entire life. And so, this is my latest piece of protective gear that I hope will keep things that way. So, yeah, I'm out here and I'm going to be trying to wheelie the uh, the old KTM 250 EXC, the old four stroke. It's a 2004 so it's 17 years old now, um, which makes it maybe not the most powerful or the most light bike around. But I tell you what, the best kind of bike is any bike you can get your hands on. So I'm happy, I'm happy. I've got a bike that I can practice on and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So let's chuck these knee guards on and get going. Oh, so this is so cool. Let me show you this. So this is how you get your knee support going. So you've got this little dial here and you've got these elasticized bits that come in behind your knee and you basically dial it in like so doing it up doing it up doing it up nice and tight that's about right there okay and cinch up your other straps and you're ready to go look at that range of movement Fucking love it, mate. Fucking love it. Now, because I'm really short, I need a lot of movement to get my leg over the bike and to really move myself from side to side because I can only get one foot down on the enduro bikes, obviously. So, in the aid of that, I always have to hitch my pants like right up to my crotch, which looks kind of ridiculous when I'm not actually riding, but. When you're not actually riding is actually not important. So, yeah, I hitch the pants up to my crotch as much as I possibly can so that I can kick my leg in the air and get one foot down when I need to. Cause short people problems, you know? My boots are still wet from Sunday. We were riding around in the rain and through the rivers and it was like everything was wet which is fine except when you then have to go somewhere with your boots in your vehicle that that's not pleasant that's not pleasant <laughs> we were driving along and i had the uh had my boots behind the seat and the smell was so bad we had to pull over in the middle of the highway and i got out and i strapped the boots to the back with the motorcycle because <laughs> we were dying. We were just dying from the stench. See, motorcycling is a really sexy and glamorous sport. That's why us girls get into it, right? We like to be sexy and glamorous all the time. We like to smell like something died in our boots. <laughs> uh, story of my life. There we go. All right, rock and roll.